Welcome to beautiful but pungent Arrow in Your Head Stadium in Carcass City, Missouri. Come for the football, stay for the barbecue. Just don't ask what the meat is, or who, unless you really want to know. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, how scared of that silly? I am a hell of a silly. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flucked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Huh? Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, man, he really... And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a gun. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. It's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro MFL hit. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. secondary for you pay him for the pick six for this you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck <laughs> at this point with multiple interceptions the qb should just throw in the towel yeah he's probably have an interceptor though it's boom dead and down he just sent a message with that hit yeah the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you but then he won't be able to read the message. Because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles! And it's first and ten. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have got... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over! Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out of the field now. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji! Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Second down and long. Ah, another and a 
interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And he snatches that one out of the air for a... Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wynn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and five. Freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that's another turnover for the defense. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and ten. Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? Second down and seven. Force meets the explodable object. Man, what a hit that was. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outman. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 70. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Okay. 
And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. But it turned out the line, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Crap! Oh, man. The 20. No touchdown today. Looks like... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First and four. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. 
The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. And then a first down from a great... And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. I'm a high-skilled killer. And here comes the extra point attempt. Keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Six. He had it for a second there. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Eight. And he runs it for four yards with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Second down and six. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see.
see if he's crying. <laughs> Second down in a lot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just run. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> First and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Take them, put them in a second. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said, that unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you gotta pay attention. Yeah, a lot of the jungle, you know? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he's running like a m They run it for a yard. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Well, the kids are enjoying the fireworks here tonight, uh, especially the human Roman candle. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to fluff it, then. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10. Of oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? That was a nice piece of running, Ben. That's a first down. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. It's a brutal hit. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck!
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopsing time. Right. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And he gets three yards on that run. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that. He is fighting for every yard. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. First down and three. Some words of wisdom. 